A lot of folks are really good at, oh, the horse is lame, the horse is sound, the horse is crooked, the horse is forward, the horse is body. And body is important. But the life of the horse, we have to address that. We have to work on it. And the place that I like to do that first is on the ground. So when I do climb up on the mounting block, he settles with me here, and he goes, I can stay here. It's a good, it's a good place to be. He can practice some things that we need to do riding before I'm on him. And another interesting feature of groundwork, I can think about myself, my spatial awareness, my body, and my positioning. So I teach centered riding, and centered riding is really simple to understand. The, the basic premise of centered riding is it's like you're standing up straight and tall with a slight bend in your knee. And it's kind of it's kind of nice to practice that before I get on. Well, we know that we want to be able to have our eyes up, open and what we call soft. Well, I can practice that on the ground. And so as I'm walking, I think about my eyes being soft, and I'm always tuning in with my horse. I'm, I'm always seeing my horse, even if he's just in my periphery. I'm never blindly leading along. Because if I'm not looking at my horse, I'm not reading his expressions, and I'm not reading his thoughts. So if you're not looking at your horse, and he's on the, you're on the ground with your horse, if you're just doing like this, I miss what's taking place. He looks to the side, his attention meanders, his feet, his feet go. And then a lot of people pull on their horse and say, where are you going? But see, they missed what happened before what happened happened. So I'm always aware of my horse. Now, I think about walking like I would want to ride. So I think about standing up straight, opening my shoulders. I'm not leading like this. And I always watch people with their horse before they ride. I'll watch them, they'll come to my place, they'll unload their horse, and I notice when people lead their horse like this, you know how they ride? Same. So as I work with my horses, I can work on myself lifting, and I can work on my horse lifting, which is something we need to do when we ride. So I might work on the life coming up and the life coming down. And my horse has got a lot of life, which is good. Um, but before I get on him, I can get him keyed in mentally on where to go, where to look. So if I go here, maybe his ears come forward. If I go over here, both sides, maybe his ears come up. We'll see. So I'm kind of looking up here. He's looking up here. And now if I were to arc around and step to the side, I would draw his attention in and to me, and maybe I'll redirect and send him the other way and use the life that he has and move him a little bit. If I get tall, he gets tall. If I sort of relax and go slow, we want him to mesh. So up and down. My other demonstrations, I talked about a headlight on your chest and shining it to where you want to go. Well, think about that. On the ground, it's the same. There's a headlight on my chest and I want to shine it to where I want to go. So I practice that and then slowing, moving. Can you all see when his energy level, his, I call it the emotional thermometer, can you see when it comes down? Can you see when they start to settle down versus when we bring it up more? 
Let's bring it up a lot more. And down. And up. And down. I started with the mind and directing his attention, his eyes, watch his eyes and his ears. I then started getting to the feet more with the life, the emotions. I give that a scale zero to 100. And a zero would be like a horse that is asleep. That's the calmest that your horse will be, is when, when they're asleep. A hundred is what I call a blind panic. It's an adrenaline state. It's awful. You never want a horse at a hundred. But what this is, is this is the spectrum, the thermometer of their emotions. I want everything to be something that we could read it. We can put a gauge on it. So I could say, is, what, what level, what, therm, what temperature is your, are your horse's emotions at? And so pretty soon, people get better at seeing when their horse is lively, when their horse is settling down. We have to work that system of the horse. So if the most excited, the most lively that our horse gets is when we're on their back, that's a problem. So the most excited, the most uh, elevated that his emotional thermometer should be, I would prefer it to be before I get on. Now, I don't mean to s about scaring a horse. That's different. Like, I wouldn't want to scare a horse. He knows how to bring me his saddle, but I want him to come around this way first. So what I do is I start to blend with the horse. I start to mesh, and I say, if you bring me the saddle, I'll let you cool down. I'll let your temperature come down. And you can watch as you work with your horses, and you can even, like, if you live with your horses, you can watch them, and you can see when they're really mellow, when they're really relaxed. But that system, that energy system of the horse has to be worked with. You could say trained, but it needs to be trained or worked with. And what I want is good modulation and adjustability in my horse's emotions. I will we'll bring his life up here. So you'll know when I get tall. I'm taller. If he hadn't gone off of my body lifting and off of my leading and my movements, I could have lifted the flag, and that's getting tall. So life up, even more. There we go. Life up. And then what I'll do is I'll come to the mounting block and see if he'd wait for me at the mounting block. And I think about how soon can he bring his life down. And I used to say it's like a light switch. I should be able to turn it on and the lights come on and I should be able to shut it off, the energy, the life. I should be able to shut it off. And I had a student the other day, they said, well, it's more like a dimmer switch. I'm like, that's really a good point. I should be able to adjust it. So I want that. So the life system of the horse, it's the most forgotten part of the horse. So a lot of folks, they're good with the mind and they're good with the body. A lot of folks are really good at, oh, the horse is lame, the horse is sound, the horse is crooked, the horse is forward, the horse is body. And body is important. But the life of the horse, we have to address that. We have to work on it. And the place that I like to do that first is on the ground. So when I do climb up on the mounting block, he settles with me here, and he goes, I can stay here. It's a good, it's a good place to be. Now before